How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? Who's excited for today's triple feature? Seriously, who's excited? I hate doing these. Is it you? Are you excited? Two episodes of video is like the perfect sweet spot for my energy levels. All right, I'm like Rock Lee over here opening up his eighth gate for every video. There's only so long you can maintain that. You think it's easy finding something to scream about for an hour and a half straight? But Bungo Stray Dogs decided it wants to end its second season on episode 25. So now my vocal cords are at the mercy of this show. So let's get into it. What are you doing here, Octagawa? I've come here to kill you. I like how Octagawa's shocked he would even ask him that. He's like, why am I... I'm here to kill you. I mean, come on, we're, we're sworn rivals, right? Also, logically, Octagawa has 0% chance of winning this fight, right? Atsushi beat Octagawa last time, and then basically mastered his wear tiger ability since. But Octagawa hasn't gotten stronger at all. So now it's a rematch between Octagawa versus a stronger Atsushi who already won the first time. Little Octagawa still has a habit of going rogue. How annoying. How are you guys gonna get mad at me every time I insult Octagawa when you've literally got the show's characters referring to him as Little Octagawa and annoying? Even the show agrees with me. Why can't you guys? Dazai's been listening in. He's on the other side of this device. <gasps> he wants to talk to you. <laughs> what have you done? Oh my god, that's hilarious. You see what I mean though? That whole plan literally hinged on Octagawa being a pick me girl. <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> and then he doesn't get to talk to him. Octagawa, me boy, you gotta move on, dude. He's just not that into you. Oh, but Danny, he's sympathetic. He just wants affirmation. I will never be sympathetic towards a man who chooses to look like a St. Bernard dipped in yogurt. You made the right decision. Any cook that isn't aware of your distaste for cream cheese should simply perish. Oh my god, Zelda's actually in this? Oh, that's so exciting. Anyone who's been keeping up with this reaction series knows that one of my favorite running jokes is roasting F. Scott Fitzgerald for plagiarizing from his wife's diaries. You thought I was mean before? Imagine my wrath when his wife actually shows up. If you want something to be done correctly, you've got to do it yourself. Oh my god, the irony. Tell me, boy, do you know how much the Moby Dick weighs? <sighs> It has a total mass of 29,000 tons. Atsushi, this thing's 45 minutes away from crashing into Japan. Don't just stand there and listen to his fun facts about the whale. If we have to fight over the control terminal, let's keep things simple. We'll both run towards it on the count of three. Run towards it now! What's Fitzgerald's ability? Making people stand there and listen to him yap? I'll just have to make a dashboard and get out before he can react. <laughs> Oh, never mind. I forgot his ability was a sweet flying knee. Need an explanation? <laughs> For however much money I spend, the amount of power I have rises in turn. <laughs> I need a deeper explanation. How is this fair? This dude's over here using a literal pay to win mechanic. Also, it sure is convenient this guy's rich considering his ability. I still have no idea how people are given their abilities. Like, do they get them at birth? Or does this guy have this power because he's rich? You would be... Aqua, no, Octagon, Otakon? No, you got it right the first time. That's our boy Aqueduct over there. Shut up. My main course will be the Were Tiger. I would like my dessert to wait quietly. I think he's calling you a snack, Fitzgerald. 500 grand. This is the one time Daddy's credit card has successfully gotten somebody out of a fight. Andrew Tate must have a shrine dedicated to this guy. Huh? He's gone. Power my ass! You wanna rephrase that one, Atsushi? Power your ass with what? Because it sure does do a lot of wiggling. This doesn't even count as abuse. Oh god, you know your life sucks when even Octagawa feels bad for you. <laughs> You couldn't be that naive, could you? No one can grant you that affirmation. No stamp certifies that you deserve to live. Says a guy whose sole reason for living is to get a smooch from Dazai. Here you are, my little stray dogs. Why was that kind of sexy? There, the cargo elevator. Do you guys see Octagawa fly in like a thrown sock puppet? 
Fitzgerald's ability is out of my league. My only chance is to figure out a way to steal that terminal from him. What, did you guys get thrown in timeout? Why are we staring at the corners here? So that's how it is. This is all about Dazai. Have you always been- In love? Because yes. That's enough hide and seek for today. In a matter of minutes, the Moby Dick will enter into an irreversible trajectory. Yo, let's go. Just like an immediately hype visual. Atsushi and Octagawa are about to team up to fight American novelist F. Scott Fitzgerald on top of a flying mechanized Moby Dick in a thunderstorm. Yeah, no, I think that warrants a let's go. Demonic? Don't want to protect your face at all, though. That is sick, though. I love that the armor is like a bunch of flowing scarves rather than like stiff metal or something. <laughs> Yo, let's go! Dude, the tiger just turned into a wear Atsushi. Also, this music? Crazy hype. I never even commented on the music of this season, but it's way better than the genuinely awful music of the first season. This track is sick. This is so hype. No, you're in my way! You're uh. All this because of Dazai will Dazai my ass! Quit bringing your ass into this! Dazai my ass sounds too much like a request. You know, things have been getting pretty serious between us lately, so I was thinking, uh... You know, maybe tonight you Dazai my ass for a change. She couldn't bring herself to accept our daughter's death. To this day, she hides in a fantasy that our daughter is studying abroad in London. To this day, she hides in a fantasy that she could one day be a brilliant author. But no one would read the ravings of a damned mad woman, so I had her locked up, you see? And it was for her own good, too. That's also true. F. Scott Fitzgerald had his wife institutionalized. Of course it is. The words from your past are fundamentally meaningless. They do not dictate who you are now. Oh, what? look at them getting along. Beast beneath the moonlight. Rashomon, demonic armor. Dude, this is so sick. This is peak Bungo right here. Like, the Atsushi and Octagawa stuff has always been the best content in this show. But your anguish isn't yours alone. What should one do when what they want to be isn't what they're best at? Dazai, we got three minutes before Japan gets nuked by a whale. Could you give her the abridged version of this motivational speech? Can I escape my memories? Is it possible? How about can I beat up the guy using the literal power of money? Let's ask that question, huh? How about we focus on kicking this guy's ass and worry about arcing later? Go die! Where, tiger? Oh, fucking big fist, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Screw all this emotional development, Atsushi just needs a big old fist! If he stands back up... I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? <sighs> he still has the control terminal. <laughs> yeah, it's about what I'd expect. Who is this? It hasn't even been a minute since they beat the main antagonist. How are we introducing a new one already? You'll need to plan your escape as well. I can't. <sighs> I'm a prisoner here. Absolutely the hell not. Is that what you thought? You thought we were doing this? Because no, we aren't. This show is not about to have Kiyoka die inside of a giant mechanical whale right now. That just isn't about to happen. My ankle is chained to the floor. I wouldn't be able to make it to the evacuation system. What is this room? There's a computer inside of a suspended wooden box that Kiyoka is also chained to? Why is the computer inside of this prisoner box? Listen to me! Thank you. Dude, somebody call her dumb little phone and have her ghost cut her out of this box. Please call her dumb little phone! What a little fool. If she hadn't embraced the hope of living in the world of light, she would still be alive now. Atsushi, you're gonna hit this guy, right? Applies only to members of the agency. 
His ability allows an individual gifted greater control of their own ability. Who is dealing out these incredibly specific abilities? Kyoka was able to pass the test and become an official member. Right before the impact. Oh, let's go. Using Demon Snow's blade, I was able to cut the chain and escape. So I'm back. Let's go! All ghost and no phone, baby! Do you think I'm strong? Let's see now. You did help take out Francis, but you look like you're about to fall over from exhaustion. Does I please just kiss this guy already? Does I? I know we just saved the city, but do you think I'm still wrong? You have become strong. <sighs> oh my god, did we finally kill Octagawa? Did his spirit leave his body now that his unfinished business is complete? Oh, is your ability not making a giant robot whale? I'm sorry, I, I, I just assumed. It is finally fulfilled. Still kicking, huh, Lovecraft? What are you gonna do now? I will scour the globe, training under the world's most prestigious masters, until I finally perfect the art of creating a dachshund. Just who was that guy? Does it really matter? It matters a little. I'm, I'm pretty sure that guy was a demon. Okay, but this means the show can't keep tricking me into thinking Kyoka's about to die. The show pulls that move like twice a season. She should be safe now. W wait a minute. Oh, Rambo. I brought over the new piece you asked about over the phone. What? You can't just slither on in here, Poe. You work for a crime syndicate. The Joker can't just walk into Gotham PD because he misses Batman. Uh -huh. Hey, Doctor, Ed, you came. Glad you could make it. Damn it. Why is Rompo my favorite character? <laughs> I'm quite grateful for that, but I prefer the women in my life to be under 12. Huh! You what?! Don't start, or I'll sew your mouth shut. <laughs> that claim's gonna need a bit more than a don't start, lady! Brief episode transition, if you guys like what you're seeing here and you want to get more content not found anywhere else, make sure you consider subscribing to my Patreon. There you'll get access to exclusive reaction videos, access to my private Discord server, and access to all of my livestream VODs I've recorded and will record in the future. On top of that, you'll just be helping out the channel in a really big way, so if you want to help support me while getting a lot of content in return, make sure you check out the link in my description. But if Patreon's not really your thing and you still want to support me, make sure you check out my second channel, Honestly Brutal, where I upload video game and movie analysis videos not the most frequently, but you know, they're there. I got a new one coming up, hopefully very, very soon. So make sure you subscribe to that channel, also in the description below, so you don't miss out. And now, on to the next one. But also, how is there another episode in this season? We beat the bad guy. There was even a party held after. What could this episode possibly be about? Such a display reflects my sworn diligence to the people. Mm. I'm ready to begin. Oh, it's a Kunikita episode. I swear upon my very soul, I will complete everything on this masterful agenda! It's an episode about Kunikita getting his chores done. I couldn't have asked for a more special season finale. Isn't it weird that anime seasons love having, like, an epilogue episode? Like, I feel like so many anime I've seen will have their, like, big climax happen, like, two episodes before the season finale. And the last two will be, like, weird winding down episodes. Like, I feel like My Hero does this, Demon Slayer Season 2 kind of did this. It's just weird to me that anime wouldn't want to end on their most, like, climactic moment. Your phone's ringing! Yay, come on! Hey! Kunikita! What are you so annoyed about? You're the one who made that your ringtone! Who is it? The same craftsman who made that special notebook of yours. The one and only legendary notebook artisan. If this whole episode is Dazai trying to ruin Kunikita's day, I'm gonna burn the writer's house down. Whether you choose your agenda or the master artisan, you'll be happy. It's practically a win-win. This man is a complete monster. Where's my lighter? Tell him that he has my utmost love and respect. Ah. Oh. You've got... Some major issues. <laughs> yeah, and I'm about to become one of them. Yeah, you guys like my soju Molotov? You're Kunikita, 
And you said you're part of the armed detective group or some pompous crap like that. What do you think about helping me beat up that dunk bucket? I don't know if I really need to see Kunikita team up with a small female Chuya. And what skills would a kid like you have exactly? I practice karate every day. I work out my mind and body to fight for justice. I've trained for a day like this. Those are more qualifications than Atsushi had. <gasps> what have I missed? What else can I do to annoy Kunikita to death? What? <gasps> He's not done tormenting him yet? Why is Dazai going through this irredeemable villain arc? All Kunikita wants to do is massage his little OCD brain by getting everything on his dumb little list done. Another bomb? This device is likely set off by vibrations. Yo, controversial opinion? This train station sucks. They only ever enter this train station when it's about to be bombed. It's like everybody who visits this place turns into a demolitionist. <sighs> Why are you a bomb now? I knew it was you. I arrested you when you were building an illegal explosive to try and blow up your school building two years ago. Probably should have given this guy a longer sentence than two years. Be strong. Discipline yourself and do what is right. To this day, I still can't get your ideals out of my mind. Dog, that's some pretty generic advice. Sure he wasn't just trying to move the conversation along? Where did you get off telling me that? Weak? So weak? That's the crap advice. You spout to someone who's already so weak, he's become a criminal? Nobody's ever told you to be strong before. He was just being polite. Special ability, Dopo Portrait! Oh, that's so hype! Get absolutely duped, kid! The signal to disarm the bomb set on the track is the same frequency as the one to detonate the bomb attached to that girl. You know what? This is the exact same situation as the train bombing in the first season. How is this the second episode involving a train bombing and a little girl with a bomb vest strapped to her? Oh. What are you doing? I'll be right here alongside you until the very end. <laughs> oh, dopo poet gentleman! I'm sure that someone like you, who's only focused on your ideals, wouldn't have a girlfriend or wife. But if you ever changed your mind... You know, you might be a little young for Kunikita, but don't worry, kid. I know a very handsome mafia boss that would be more than interested. Of the current 58 conditions of my spousal plan project, you fail to meet 31 of them. So I must decline. What? Oh, thank God. Whew, I got nervous for a second. And compassionate toward the weak. A man born to be a leader. Yup. Who else could it be but our very own Kunikita? Yo, I want the detective agency's boss to die so soon. I want to see Kunikita running the shit out of this agency, man. And that is season two of Bungo Stray Dogs. That's right, I'm going to keep on pronouncing this show two different ways. Apparently it's pronounced Bungo, but I like Bungo. Season two, way better than season one. Slow start for sure. I don't love flashback episodes in like anything, but the villains are a lot more interesting and fun, mostly because I recognize the authors. So I had a good time with that. But even without that novelty, I still think that the action and story in this season is a lot more engaging than in season one. It is weird that we almost like lose a lot of Dazai's original charm in this season. Like, they almost entirely dropped the suicide shtick Dazai had going on in season one. Did you guys notice that? Like, entirely gone in this season. Atsushi takes a little bit of a backseat, just like in season one, I always hope for more Atsushi. I just love his character design. I love his power. I like his voice actor. I think he's very fun. The structure of this finale was so strange though. The first episode I reacted today was like all build up to the climax, like really strong episode. Then the second episode is like three minutes of the final fight and then like a long party celebrating the end of the season. And this last episode, was like a weird side mission with Kunikita. So that's a little strange. I am glad I watched these like all in this chunk together. Like if I was watching it week to week, I think that would have been a little disappointing. But yeah, regardless, great last season. Uh, up next is the movie. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this video and I will see you guys next time.